Hi everybody, Andrew Bob here, and today's collection video will be different. It's going to be kind of like what I did with the Fidge Smear collection video. I'm going to be doing a collection video on Beatles records, and I also have a, and I also have a, another record besides Beatles, which I'll show you. And um, so I'll explain this to you. Um, I'm not just collecting cars and trucks. I'm also collecting um, fidget spinners, um, Beatles records, and I'm also going to do a video on my um, sticker books in the in December. But I'm going to do it separately, not like all together because of how many I have. Anyways, I will go through these Beatles records and tell you when I got them. Now, um, let me see. The first one. All right, well, the, the first Beatles record, the first Beatles record I have here is Rubber Soul, which this one I got for my birthday um, I, when I was at Thames. Um, I got this sent to me, and it's, um, of course, this came out in 1965, and, of course, it has one record because it has two sides on it. And then um, those are the sides. Which side one shows Drive My Car, Norwegian Wood, You Won't See Me, Nowhere Man, Think For Yourself, The Word, Michelle. Side two shows What Goes On, Girl, I'm Looking Through, In My Life, Wait, If I Need Someone, Run For Your Life. It says all titles composed by Lennon and McCartney except Think For Yourself and If I Needed Someone. Those two are composed by George Harrison. And of course it doesn't have like a, f it doesn't like open up because this is only one side. It just, you just kind of got to pull it open with your fingers. And then the records inside. And then the next Beatles record I have is is um, Revolver, which I got this yesterday in downtown New London. I got it at the record store. And, um, of course, most of the Beatles records I have, and it's remastered just like this one. And um, most of these covers I get are black, or, and some of them are white. And then, of course, this one has one record, just like Rubber Soul does. And it has two sides, which the song shows on this side. And what's different is that it shows the lead singers on the side, unlike Rubber Soul. And this one's kind of, the back's kind of darker than this one. This one's like white on it. And so yeah, I got this for $29 in the record store. That's where I got this. And of course it came out in 1966. And then um well, I've already said what years they came out with in some of the videos, but I just said Bro Re Strong Revolver. Revolver came out in 1966. And then the next one I have is um is Magical Mystery Tour, which this is my favorite Beatles album. Which I got this for Christmas, and and it, it shows the songs on the front, which is cool, and on the back just shows like a portrait or character or something. And then this actually opens up. It's got it's got two sides. Well, one is two sides, and then the other one. One comes with the record. This, and then the other one comes with a magical mystery tour book because this is a movie. And then um, it, and what's cool about this is it shows the lyrics for the songs right there. And then this is the record itself. Very nice how this opens up. Well, most of my Beatles records are remastered. I have one that's um, used, which I'm going to talk about in a couple minutes. All right, the next one I have is Yellow, is Yellow Submarine, which I got this one for my birthday, as well as um, Rubber Soul, which um, which this one like doesn't open up except um, it comes with a Beatles record and it also comes with like a sleeve to like. What's cool about this is that it comes with like a sleeve, which you can keep the record in, which um. The record that is inside this is a Michael Jackson record, which I got this from my friend Connor, and um, it, it's a small record because the Beatles records are big because these are albums. Michael Jackson's record is small because it has two of his singles on it from Motown, which this side is Rock and Robin, the other side has Love Is Here and Now You're Gone, and this is a used record because it has scratches on it. And then this is where it came from. It came out of this. Which goes in here. But sorry, th now this is the sleeve that I put the record in. That's what's cool about it. You can put other records in it. And the sleeve are just Beatles records, not just like other Beatles records. This is the only other record I have, the Michael Jackson one. And then this goes in here. 
which I kind of explained in the comparing video because I am comparing some of these Beatles records. Sorry, just give me one moment. I'm trying to put this back in here. Oops. Sorry, my camera's kind of falling down. Just give me one minute. I'll keep you occupied. All right, I just put that away in there. These are kind of spread out because I didn't want to organize them because if I lined them up, then it would be hard to show them all on camera. So, yes, all right, so anyways, the next record I have is um, Abbey Road, which um, which I got this for my birthday as well as Yell Submarine and Rubber Soul. And then this one comes with, and then this one, um, of course, the back shows the songs, and it even says, it, it even says it's remastered, because it says remaster right there. Because, of course, these most of these are brand new, that's why they're remastered. And then this one, you just pull your fingers, and then you get a record. Some of the Beatles records um, come with, have either Apples on the front, or Parlophone, or like a diff, or a capital record logo. Because the Beatles records all have logos. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. The next Beatles record I have is the Red Album, which this one is a used record, which I got for Christmas. And of course it's used because the cover's a little worn off. The cover's a little bit worn, but just like Magical Mystery Tour, this one opens. And it's got four sides. Magical Mystery Tour doesn't have four sides. This is one of the two records I have that has four sides. Which means you get one record in here, and it's got a red sleeve, which has, what's the red sleeve, it's not actually blank, and it, it's not actually blank and shows a circle, it just shows, it shows the lyrics on here for all the songs. And, um, these ones are a little ripped, and the record has some scratches on it. That's why it's used, because it's got some, got some wear and tear on it. And then this other one just shows the other record, which it also, which it also, it's also red, and it also shows the lyrics. And this, this one sometimes will fall out because there's like a rip right there. Most of these records I got from my parents, except the, um, and the, except rubber, except, um, except the Michael Jackson record, Rubber, rubber Soul and Revolver. The Michael Jackson record Connor gave me, um, and then Rubber Soul, my uncle gave me, and then, um, the Revolver I bought yesterday. And the last Beatles record I have is the Past Masters. Which, of course, it's brand new. Just like the Red Album when a Magical Mission Tour, it opens. And all three of those I got for Christmas. And then the other three Beatles records I got for my birthday. And then, and then one I got I bought yesterday. So this is the past master. It doesn't show the songs in here. It shows the songs on the back. Because some of the Beatles records show songs. And it's got four sides. And just like the Red Album, it has two records. Except it's white-sleeved. And it's not like... And it's clear. It's not like... It's not one that shows lyrics on it. Here's the other one. And that's, and um, one more thing to show you. This is my own record player. That's where I play all the records. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to play the music because due to copyright reasons, I cannot. This is a portable record player. It's lightweight. Carry it like this. And it also shows the speakers, which you'll hear the music in. The back, there's a plug, and you can plug in the headphones, and then the plug's right there. Now, this is the open, and you should do this. And then this is the record player itself. Um, you put the record on here. And if you're playing like a Michael Jackson record, you put that on here. And you also put this circle thing because that's how you can play small records. And the um, and then this is this is how you can play the records. It's how you do it. And then this you can actually screw back in, I believe. And it's Crosley. The record player, I, I, I also got the record player for Christmas, not just the three Beatles records. And then it's, and it closed like this. So yeah, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this collection video. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.